Hi, Keneal. Welcome to Prairie Dog Line, Saskatchewan. I'm Agent Marshall Marty. And I'm Quinnin. And we're just going to show you how to get set up with Python and Pygame. Now, if in the video we go too fast, feel free to um, s pause the video or slow it down. Yeah, and just remember that Python and Pygame are, are totally free. To make sure that you don't miss any steps, if you follow along kind of like this, so you have the uh, video open, and then if you click the uh, yeah restore down button, and just adjust it to how big you want it, about that big. Then you can open up another another web browser window, and then you can follow along from there. Today. I'm doing good. How about you? Just great. All right, so let's get started. Time. It's green. You want to start by opening up Internet Explorer or any other web browser that you have. Then you want to go to the search box and just type Google. All right. The one. Then you want to click the Google link right here. It's going to be the first one. And that will take us to Google. We use Google because, hey, who doesn't have Google, right? So it's, it's really easy to find stuff with Google. So you want to go to the Google search bar and you want to type Python down low. Whoops, spelled that wrong. That's with an N. Alright, and then you want to click the search button. Alright, so you should see a link called download python, python.org. You want to click that link right there. And make sure that the .org is there. Yeah. Alright, this will take this to the python download page. If you do not make it to this page, don't worry, there should be a link down below in the description. And just click that and that will take you straight to here. Alright, so you want to click the little slider button, and you just want to slide down until you see Python, Python 3.40. So that's right right there, Python 3.4.0. You want to click it. Alright, then you want to scroll down and click the link to the download page. Alright, you want to pick the bottom one, it's Windows X. 86 MSI installer. You want to click that one there. And downloads have become a lot safer over these past couple of years. It's not like it used to be. Yeah, and we've downloaded this ourselves, so we know it's safe. All right, so you want to click the save button. Just click save. Now it'll be downloading. So now you just gotta wait till till it downloads. Alright, so once it says it's completed, just close out of your web browser. Alright, so now you want to go to the Windows button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And then you'll just want to scroll all the way down. Or however you get there, you just want to go to Windows System. And then you find this PC. So you want to click that. So once you get to this PC, you want to go click the Downloads button. Alright, and that'll show you our Python installer. So you just want to double click it. Alright. And then this message will come out and you want to check. Make sure you have install for all users. And then just click next. Just leave this as it is. Python 3, 4. And just click next. And just leave everything the way it is here. And just click next. Alright, and there you go. Then I'll just quickly install a minute here. Alright, so once it's finished, just click finish. You can close out of that, and then you'll just want to go to um, the Windows button, and then you should see you have want to go to um, P for Python then you just want to click idle and there you go so now we've got Python here open this is the Python shell so now I wanted to get Pygame to go with that Pygame is important in, for Python and especially in making games and stuff it really makes it a lot easier and Alright, so now that we've got Python installed, we'll want to get Pygame installed. So again, open up your web browser, 
go to the search box and type Google search all right so once you get to Google then go to the search bar and top and type pie game and then unofficial binaries okay that's not how you spell right but it should come up anyway all right then you want to click the link that says unofficial windows binaries for python extension packages and i'll click that link there all right this will take us here and then you're going to want to scroll down until you get to like you see these are all all start with a's until you see a lot of p's okay so let's c's f l m n o all right here we go so now I want to look for the pi game. I'll say pi game. Start at p. Go to p y. Okay. okay. Oh, hold it. Where is it? Okay, it's right around. Pi. Pi. Down. Where? Where is that? Okay. You're um, too far. Oh, okay. It's a little nope. tricky to find. Hold it down. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. Alright, right then you want to click the the pie game link. It'll just say pie game. So you want to click that. And that'll take you to Bit Bucket. Again, we trust Bit Bucket. Bit, Bit Bucket is safe. We've used it many times. Alright, then you want to go to this little tab here and we'll click the downloads button. Alright, now you want to scroll down on here. Until you find Pi Game, and then 1.9.2, and CP Pi. Wait, all right, it's got to be dot MSI. So we'll choose this one right. Yeah. Um. Wait. Um, 32. Oh, right here. All right. So you want to click the link that says Pi Game 1.9.2, AO. I mean A0, HG, EA, 3B, 3 BBB. Uh huh. And I'll say win 32. Okay, that's the important thing. Win 32, pi 3.4. Alright, you click mm. that. And again, just click save. Alright, so McAfee's just scanning it a second to make sure the download's safe. So we've downloaded this, and we have not gotten hacked by this, so we're all good. It's all, fr it's all free. So let me just close out. Alright, so again, you want to go to the Windows button, and we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you will click, <coughs> excuse me, Windows System, and this PC. Or it, could, it would be my computer, depending on what type of, what, what version of Windows you have. So then click the Download section, double click that, and I'll see the Pi AM 1.2, blah blah blah. Alright, go on click that, double click actually, and leave it as install for all users, click Next. And leave that as is and click next. Click yes. Finish. Alright, now to test that it's successfully installed, we're gonna go to the Windows button here and we'll scroll down and to find the P section. Alright, and we'll see Python 3.4 and we'll click idle. So we'll click that. And now in the Python shell here, we'll type import pygame. All right, so that means that everything's working and pygame successfully installed. All right, so now I want to show you guys some some examples that come with pygame. So again, go to this PC, this PC, and then you'll see this little icon here. It's it'll say it might not be Acer, but I'll show the little C. So double click that. All right, now you should see a folder called Python 3.4. So double click that. All right, now you want to go to a folder called LIB with capital L. So double click that. And then, then we go to a fol another folder called LIB. Again. And then site packages. Then click Pi, pi Game. 
All right, then you find folder called examples. So just click it once and then just whoops. Yeah, click it once and then just whoops. Click once and drag it to the desktop. All right, so now I open up the folder. All right, now we've got plenty of examples to go from. So just look for a like here. Let's change the view to large icons. All right, so you want to go to the little icon that says aliens.py and just double click that. And, and this is a yeah. So the aliens already comes with. The, Alright, so now if you wanted to change a few things in the code, like how fast the aliens move or something like that, just right, like, right, first click on aliens, right click, and then click edit with idle. Left click, right, edit with idle. Alright. And then if you change this here, this little number here, if you change that to, to uh, let's just do 10. Now you can like shoot 10 bolts at once. So, mm -hmm. so click file and then you click save. Save. All right, and then just go to here again and double click aliens.py. So now as you can see, fire a little bit more bolts. You can, you can uh, tinker around with that a bit. Change the alien odds to. Yeah. So now there is. One. Yeah. Or we yeah change it. Let's try it, try that at one. So if you go control on the keyboard and then S, that saves it automatically for you. All right, we'll run that. Now we're going. That's, that's there is fun to play with. So we all, there's also a few other examples like this example called chimp.py. So we'll double click that. Then there's this little monkey that runs back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this is insane, but it is. <laughs> Funny thing is, I never won any dollars from playing that. <laughs> Me neither. Alright, um, what else do we have? Oh, we have stars.py. It's right here. Stars. Let's double click that. So, and that looks pretty cool too. It looks like you're traveling in space. Like, then if you left click on the mouse, it'll show, you know, the stars will start at a different position. Here, let's change how many stars show up. So again, left click on it, then right click on it, and then click edit, edit with, with idle. idle. Alright, um... Number of stars, so if you change this number, 150 to, let's say, 1,000. Control S to save it. Alright, and then double click on it again. As you can see, we've got considerably more stars. So, yeah. So, that's really how we got started. We just started editing the example, so that, the example codes there. and Yeah, and... So you can fiddle around with this a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. This banana fell down the stairs. <laughs> I was holding it in my hand and slipped. No! Then boom. Then it's just like in the movies where we're boom. And then boom. <laughs> and then it hit the bottom and it went farther. And then when it hit the concrete, well, and could just like, oh. oh. Alright. And I was like, oh. <laughs> My banana! Hold up. Stop that! <laughs>